So I thought I'd do a quick video on my mill lathe drill combo. It's Chinese, made in 1987, basically based on the original Smithy uh, models, which were made in the U.S. I think they're still in business, actually. Uh, this one was also made, uh, an identical one was made by Grizzly. Uh, a lot of the parts on this one are interchangeable with the Grizzlies. Not a lot of information online about this these things. Uh, it was kind of a rarity, I guess. I've seen a couple videos where people tried to make CNC machines out of them. Although, for various reasons, this one's not really good for that. I'll try to get into that in a minute. But basically, this is a HQ400, made in 1987 by the Shitao Family Machine Tool Works in the Republic of China. It will do light milling and light lathe work and it's perfect for what I need it for. Uh, I'm not a machinist. I'm a hobbyist and um, I make a lot of motorcycle related parts, small parts, that kind of thing, spacers, that kind of thing. It's perfect for that. Uh, it's one big draw drawback is I can't do threading on it, so I can't make any sort sort of screws or or uh, bolts. But uh, it's not a huge deal. I can get away with that with, or uh, I can do that with dies if I have to. I'll show you some of the uh, things that are good and, and bad about it. Uh, spindle speeds on the mill head. 375 to 1600 not too slow not too fast <laughs> the lathe will do 500 to 1600 again not too slow not too fast it's got a clutch mechanism here it's now in lathe mode or excuse me it's now in mill mode which means the lathe will just spin Now you have to take my word for it. You pull it out, and I can't do it one-handed. You pull it out, and it will uh, then go into lathe mode. You can swing the head around. You can probably do it 360 degrees, although I don't know why you'd want to. Basically, you swing it all the way back, and that's its park position for when you're using the lathe. It doesn't get in the way. The quick change tool post and cross slide I've added uh, a good addition to it. It originally had this thing, which is basically sort of like a four position post, single post. And it was relatively stable, it's pretty heavy. However, I think it's more stable with the giant piece of aluminum there. And if I haven't mentioned it, that cross slides from an Atlas lathe with a broken off piece. And I actually cut the dovetail there in the piece of aluminum to accept it. So it's locked on there. Tailstock is Morse Taper 2. The mill head is Morse Taper 3, which makes no sense whatsoever. As I mentioned before, it does not have any motorized, uh, motorized pieces at all, as far as feed goes. So, there's, there's no way of making threads. This green piece here, that holds on the main shaft, the main screw, is actually a replacement part from Grizzly. And when I got it, this whole back end was broken off. The handle there is, I believe, off a of bridge port, and this is a factory new replacement part from Grizzly. And it bolted right on there with a little modification. Basically, all the dimensions were the same. The table that it's sitting on 
was made by the previous owner and it's got casters on it which is nice real heavy steel table he had had a drill press vise mounted here I don't need that I've got a drill press so I don't need that I added the switch the breakers not on right now that's why I didn't come on its normal switch is a three position switch that's lathe off mill but I prefer to have a quick switch I can just switch it off and on it is a 110 motor a one and a half horsepower and a couple other things I've added DRO to the cross slide which is very handy if you can see it there it's just basically a caliper that I bought a cheap Chinese caliper I cut down the the ends to make it work on there I also have a DRO on the mill head which is made for this and it's got a remote over here so if you watch uh, Musty One the YouTuber he has an identical machine nearly identical although he does have the power feed so uh, he can make he can do threading so let me get the tool post off and I'll show you what it looks like when it's in mill mode So there's an example of the quality of milling it will do. You just have to go slow. It'll make some pretty good cuts. Okay, I'm not going to tighten these down, but you get the idea. I have a regular little mill vise here, which is plenty enough to hold. If I'm holding anything that this won't hold, I shouldn't be cutting it with this machine, basically. Uh, this cross slide piece here is an old American uh, Atlas, I believe, Atlas brand. And it works really well for more fine adjustments, although most of the most of the work you do with the with the two main pieces you'd want to remove the drill or the lathe chuck of course before you do any milling unless you're doing something really small uh, and that gets it back you know it's about three inches right there takes it off this is a four inch chuck by the way it's three jaw I have a four jaw that also came off an atlas that I want to modify and put on here but that's for a future date so basically you pull the head over I've got different types of tooling but that's an ER collet tooling, tooling. head's got about four inches of travel doesn't go all the way down quite to the vise but I've also got another spacer that I can put under here under the vise if I want to go higher uh, for most things that'll do it I've done 
couple pieces I'll show you some pictures and like I said you go slow it's rigid enough the head does lock I, it's on the other side so if you if you go slow and you pay attention to what you're doing and you follow some basic fundamentals basically you can do quite a bit of good work on this thing uh, I really haven't had any issues as far as not being able to do something however you gotta figure out how to do it uh, and of course I haven't really done anything really big on it I haven't overstressed the machine there's no point in that it's it's not made for it it's made for doing small work um, I think that when Smithy made these from what I understand they owned a John Deere dealership and they needed something to make small parts that was quick and didn't take as much time to set up as a big machine and that's kinda how they came up with these things but anyway I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of it if there's any more interest in it I'll definitely do a more detailed video and of course you're gonna see this machine you've are if you've watched any of my other videos you've already seen this machine um, it pops up time and time again I I use it quite a bit probably more than I ever thought I would but anyway, thanks for watching.